And just got uh, first coat. Well, really, it's the second coat on all the doors. <clears> the <throat> first coat was hand painted uh, with brushes. And then I just did a second coat with the uh, airless sprayer or the Earlex sprayer. Let that dry, and then uh, we can flip them over and put a couple coats on the back side. All right, so before I get the rest of this stuff painted uh, inside the camper, I want to get this flooring out of the bathroom. And before I can do that, I have to get the toilet out. So on these, uh, on any RV, there's limited space, but on a truck camper, even though this is a dry bath, um, it, there's a, a lot of um, obstacles. <laughs> so you're gonna need, um, at least on, on my setup, uh, they're the half inch T-bolts, a uh, half inch nut, and a half inch T-bolt on that side. On this side, um, they, it is half inch as well, but they're, it's a, a plastic uh, nut and T-bolt. Um, and, you know, there's just not much space here. So you're going to need a, a short little half inch um, box wrench or end wrench. And to, that's how you're gonna get that tiny little bolt out that's back there. I've already got the water disconnected, so I'm gonna get this thing out of here. All right, that old toilet's out. I'm gonna get that flooring out of there. So you're gonna wanna turn your water off before you disconnect your toilet. Um, you can see that there's, uh, this pipe has uh, got water in it. It's kind of overflowing a little bit, so. I'm gonna go over to my low point drain and uh, just let that all that water out so I don't have to keep mopping up my camper. The low point is in this storage compartment. So open that up, let those drain. That's really about it. I'll just leave them open water has drained out of there so I have to keep mopping up. We we'll get to close them again. Okay so I'm just taking my utility knife go along the edges all the way around. I have a few staples that I'll have to pull and then this piece will come out. I'm going to show you this part but uh, the toilet flange under there I'm just going to cut around the toilet flange. The flooring goes under the flange but with the new flooring I'll just uh, run right up to the edge of the flange and, uh, you know, it's all going to be covered by the new toilet anyway, so um, I'll just cut around that and get this old stuff out. I'm prepping the uh, kitchen area. Got all that old uh, molding, that welting, that, uh, you know, the gap seam uh, filler cut out. I got all that. Well, actually, I'm, uh, almost all of it. A piece right there I need to get out of there. Uh, all this up here was all cracked. I took all that out. <clears throat> this piece here in this corner I'm leaving because the slide out, um, you, you don't even see it. So I'll just uh, run some, uh, some caulking in the little areas that are there. Um, but this will all be resealed um, all along here after the countertops and the backsplash and everything are all done. Um, got the flooring out of the bathroom, got the, all the staples and stuff cleaned up, and um, again, all of that junky uh, molding that was there, um, all torn out. It's, it's this stuff. That stuff right there. It's all cracked and brittle so i figured i'd better cut it out of there and then i'll just use uh sealant uh that extra stretchy stuff from dicor to uh, fill in all that in the corners after um after i'm done painting and all that i'll go through and reseal everything on the inside on these countertops um i decided that i'm, I'm not going to rip them out at this point um I'm just going to refinish them using that uh, uh, Rust-Oleum for countertops uh, refinishing 
it's, it's just like a paint. So you just rough up the Formica and uh, it's a, an epoxy paint. You just roll it on and it kind of self levels out. Lots more to do, but we're just taking little bites and, and uh, getting, getting a little bit done every day, so. Got all the doors painted. These took three coats. <clears throat> I did uh, just two coats on the back side uh, of all the doors, cabinet doors, and I did uh, three coats on the front side. Using that <clears throat> paint that's got the primer all built in and it's good quality paint, uh, good thick paint, but I, I don't know. I, I did have to dilute it because I'm using my uh, Earl X 5000 sprayer. So that's probably why it took three coats instead of just two, but got um, the first coat on uh, all the cabinets in here um, in the uh, kitchen and uh, really brightens things up in here. I'm gonna look from this angle back here. That's just the first coat. Well, <clears throat> it's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Try to get the second coat on these before I start the cab over part. That way I can at least get some of the doors uh, mounted in here on in the kitchen area we're using. And uh, bought two gallons, and this one's still full. I haven't even opened this one yet. And this one has about, oh, almost a quarter, about a quarter. All right, the second and the third coat of paint has been put on the cupboards, or the cabinets. So much lighter and brighter. All right, so next project is getting these countertops uh, painted with the, uh, the Rust-Oleum uh, paint for countertops. It's a, an epoxy paint. So I'm gonna go get that. I think we're gonna do a kind of a medium gray, um, gray with a little bit of beige in it. So that's it for today. I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.